Do you need to match a custom color in Fusion 360? I'm designing an accessory for my Canon DSLR, and I want to match this yellow that runs from the mic to the camera body. So let's show you how to match these in Fusion 360. First, we'll begin by doing the simple thing, which is adding an, appear an appearance color. Hit A for appearance. And now what we want to do is select over in the library. I'm in the Fusion Appearances. I'll scroll through and find the closest thing I can. I'm going to choose paint and glossy. This is kind of what I'm hoping to achieve. And I'll just drag on any color. Doesn't really matter. Maybe dragging something similar. That's fine. But um, I'm going to customize this in just a second. Now, here's where it gets fun, customizing the color. I didn't know the exact yellow, so I'm going to use uh, a free app. There's a lot out there. One's called Color Swatch for the iPhone and iOS. I grabbed that. It lets me zoom in on the color, and eventually, once I get it fully in the frame, it can get a pretty good estimate of what color yellow I need. So there it is. I get the hex value and the RGB. OK, now back in Fusion 360, come into the design, find the color or appearance that you applied, right click and then copy to My Appearances. The My Appearances tab is your custom appearances that you can use across your different designs. So here you're going to see it's going to see say private next to that that value. And this is that original yellow. It's close, but still not what I want. So I'm going to right click on the one that I want to reuse and edit it and give it a name that makes sense. So I'm going to call it Deity Yellow because that's the, the brand of the mic and the accessory I'm trying to match. And then I'm going to come down to the color scheme here and I can put in the hex code. I can put in the RGB. Hit OK. It's now updated. We'll hit Apply. And yes, we can go back through and kind of adjust some of these values. I'm going to leave them as they are for now. Hit OK. And you can see what's applied to this model. I want to remind you that there is a way to get rid of the colors, the unassign or delete. So if it's being used, you're going to have this unassign and delete. And that's an important way to, to remove an appearance from the model or the design, or you can just delete it if it's not in use. I'm going to drag my new Deity Yellow onto the model. There we go. That looks much better. It's looking closer. And if I jump into the render environment, I can get you know an even better representation of what this could look like. Now for a little bonus, what if you want to match this to the closest 3D print filament you can get for your 3D printer? I'm in hue3d.com and I'm going to search for the color that I want. So I'm looking for the EEC. It's got RGB values. If you toggle, you can get to the hex value. If that's how you just put in the value that you know, I'm going to put in my hex value and hit enter hit search. It'll search this, and this is really slick. It's going to give you the different brands and different colors. If I'm trying to stick with Bamboo Lab, it looks like got a 93% match. So I guess I have a decision to make of am I willing to switch to a different brand to print with in order to get a tighter color match. I guess that's up to you. So if color matching is really important to you, it's my understanding that you would want to try to match to existing Pantone colors and then actually create those real life prototypes and then continue through with trial and error until you get the tightest match that you can. Hopefully today's strategy shows you a few different ways that you can get really close really quickly. And hey, if you're looking to ramp up your skills in Fusion 360, I've got a cool download for free 47 tips that you need in Fusion 360 when you're learning the tool and trying to get better at 3D printing.